predicting if somebody is likely to default on a loan as they're applying for this loan. So it, once again, it's going to ask some information. I'm just going to pass in some dummy data. So let's say I'm going to want a £2,500 loan. Uh, I've got £180,000 left on my mortgage. And my house is worth uh, 200000 Now, I want to do some home improvements. And I, um, I, I don't do any of these, so I'm other. And I've been in my current job, let's say a year, and I have never missed any repayments, and I've got a loan, so I've got, I've got a credit line, so, well, a mortgage. So I'll put, put one in there. And now, once again, this is going to follow the exact same building blocks as what I showed in the other demo. So the data's being normalized, it's being sent to Google ML Engine, where the model's stored, and finally, we're going to get this, um, we're going to get this output, and this output's going to stay, well, actually, the person's going to default, so we don't want to automate the giving of a loan, or maybe we can assist somebody who's figuring out if they should allow this person to have a loan. And the other output is, yes, give this person a loan. So once again, this process could um, help guide a person's decision. And like with, the, like with the other demo, the final one is, got it wrong. Um, so, we can, um, so we can capture this information, once again, pull it into a human in the loop. It doesn't matter what it is. And then that data could be labeled, it could have some analysts look at it, 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 whatever it wants to be, really. So we can see here, the prediction states the data has a very low possibility of defaulting on a repayment, and it's 100% sure about that. Um, so in a business use case, we could fully automate the giving of a loan, as I said earlier, or we could, you know, we could help guide the analyst. With a problem like this, you couldn't do it in a traditional way, because the problem's so complex, trying to solve this problem with you know, a rule-based system, it's just not going to work, it's going to fall over. If it sees one, one little bit of information it's never come across before, it's going to break. So by using machine learning, we can overcome those obstacles. 